Hi everyone! Hi! How are you YouTube? Once again, we are going to spend some time today talking about ranking our Jeffree Star palettes. Um, once again, I will say that on this channel, we do not follow the drama, we do not follow hate or canceling people, and if you don't like that, you can click out of this video. I happen to like Jeffree Star, and I happen to like Jeffree Star's makeup. So, if you're not into that, that's okay. It's, this video is not for you, so just click out. Um, other than that, I am going to be ranking my Jeffree Star palettes. I have every single one of them ever made, and I want to share how I feel about them with you guys. And I am going to, as you see, I have a stack. I'm going to also include the Morphe palette, even though it isn't part of Jeffree's actual makeup. I still include everything that Jeffree has done in my collection so anyway let me get down to it so the last on my list is the morphe collab and it looks like this if you guys don't remember they no longer make this palette and as of a couple weeks ago now as to date of this video um morphe and forma uh, partner company with morphe have filed for bankruptcy so <laughs> Um, I know Jeffrey had a lot to say about that, and, uh, yeah, I think it's funny, in a, a good biblical sense, so, um, we can make a video about that if you guys want to hear, um, my thoughts on it, <laughs> um, if not, I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> anyway, um, there are times I still pick this palette up, even though the quality isn't up to Jeffrey's par, I do like the actual glitter formula in here, the the rims formula and the gold one and I like these greens and these this whole bottom two rows is like a random grungy color story that I, I kind of like so when I travel and I don't want to bring one of my expensive palettes I don't mind bringing this <laughs> so that is the Morphe and Jeffree collab so I'm gonna set that down um, next on my list is the Mini Controversy in Tim and Sheen Dawson. I have the original one. Um, I have the Put It Back shade separately in a Z palette, but this one is my least used Jeffrey palette. Um, I liked the fact that the blues were in here, um, and I use it in, uh, coincides with the actual Conspiracy palette, so I use the blues in here. And I sometimes would use the transition shades in here for my blue looks, but I wish that they had just left the Put It Back shade in here and not gave us Diet Root Beer twice, because Diet Root Beer is also in the main controversy palette. Or conspiracy palette. But anyway, I can't wait to see the new series that Shane is going to be coming out with on the first. If y'all are excited, hit that like button for me. Um, but I'm going to be watching that, so that is really, really fun to know. I can't wait. Maybe we'll have a new collab. <laughs> um, next one up on my list is the Mini O. And the Mini O is a little bit dry. As you can see, I don't get much use out of it, but when I do, I gravitate towards these little shades here. But it is pretty dry. I don't really wear nudes very often, but if I want a, a boring look, basically, I will definitely go for the shimmers in here and use it in uh, conjunction with the actual O palette. And the next one on my list is one of my most anticipated palettes when it first came out and then I ended up not liking it as much as I thought. So this is the good old Bloodlust palette. Love these new shades he came out with and I am one of the only people that loves that shade Vile Serpent. I think that is one of the prettiest teal. So if I want a teal I usually will open this palette and use that shade, so I love that shade. But uh, I wish I could have gotten more use out of this, actually, but 
I actually don't. Um, but when I do use it, I do like it. Sorry about all the glare off. I can't flip this one completely, but yeah, I mean, it's a pretty palette. Just not my favorite. I do like all of Jeffrey's palettes in a way, and there's a shade in each one that I like. Um, but, you know, I know this might be unpopular opinion, but I am not a red wearer or neutrally pe person, so I know this is an unpopular opinion. I'm trying to cover up the mirror so um, you don't get glared. But um, this is my blood sugar. As you can see, I don't really touch much of it. Um, it's okay. Um, these shades in here are okay. It is not my favorite. If I'm going to gravitate towards blood sugar nowadays, I will gravitate towards the mini one. Uh, but I don't know. It's just something about reds and the pinks in there. It's kind of like... It introduced me to not being afraid of color, but um, I do have the white packaging that my sister got me. Um, I like this. I have not touched this. Um, this is just a collector version. Um, I don't know if I like it on the white background as much. It doesn't make the color story look as poppin as it does normally when it's in the red packaging. But, once again, this is part of my collection, so this is not getting touched unless something happens to my actual blood sugar, so. Uh, this one is the one I use. <laughs> um, but the shades in here I really do love are actually the goldy neutral tones and these darker tones down here. The berry shades, I like those, but some of them have been redone into the mini blood sugar. So I'll show you that in a second because that is the next on my list. So if I do gravitate towards blood sugar, I will now pull out my mini blood sugar. I really love the center shade he did, the new shade, Wisdom. And most of the shades that are in here, I really do like. But I just wish he had done something like all the shades that he was going to get rid of from Pink Religion that he said he was going to use in this palette or the original Blood Sugar. I wish he had used those shades in here instead of just giving us older shades from regular Blood Sugar and giving us the ones he didn't use and then put them in here along with the Wisdom shade. But um, that's just my opinion. But if I'm going to carry around Blood Sugar instead of carrying around that bulky thing, I'm going to pull from this most of the time. Um, but that wisdom shade is really pretty. <laughs> I like that for some Halloween stuff too. Or if I'm in the mood to wear red. Um, I'm not much of a red wearer. So next one on my list is Pink Religion. I'm not a huge pinky pink, pink person. But I like the shades better in here than in Blood Sugar. Um, they are pretty. And I really like that red ish tone that was supposed to be in blood sugar and this one too here uh, I wish he had used that instead of that horrible prick shade holy fire is what he called it um I like this much better than blood sugar actually but I really like the purples in here too it's kind of p uh, pinky purple so I liked to use this around springtime I thought it was pretty um but yeah pink religion is next on my list I love how it looks like a Bible. That's so cool. I loved it. Everybody complains about Jeffrey's packaging. I think it's so gorgeous. Okay, next up is good old Thirsty. I used to be so in love with this palette. I still love it. And to this day, the press glitters in here, press glitters or whatever they are, I love those. Didn't get much use out of this because I knew it was a collector's. Um, and then when... Um, O palette came out, I started using the neutrals in there, and then I used the bright colors in my Jawbreaker palette if I want bright looks. But I tried to not use this as much, but I did get some use out of it, and I try to avoid putting uh, marks in my stars. hate doing that, uh, so I try to 
concentrate my brushes around the stars, but you can see a little bit of wear on them. Uh, love that palette. Um, now, uh, there's this one is a newer one he just released, Beauty Killer 2. Um, I loved this color story when I first saw it, um, but there's something about the formula. It's not as exciting as I thought it was going to be, but I do really love that chartreuse color, and I like the sparkly colors in here. Um, I think it's kind of like the formula of actual beauty killer, so I don't know if he used the original formula in this palette, but something about it, it's just not as impactful as I was hoping it would be, so I don't know. That's why it's kind of low on my list, but I really love the color story of it. It's so pretty. Hi, Rain Man. It's Rain Man. Hi, Rain Man. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> As we know, the Rain Man here is a Jeffree Star fanatic, so he loves palettes like this. He also especially loves picking colors out of a palette, but anyway, next up is Beauty Killer. I really actually love this. I wish he would have kept it around because if he did keep it around a little longer, I probably would have got a new one, but I still use this. Oh, he just knocked all my stuff down. Um, I still use this, but it's a little older now. And I've noticed it isn't performing as well as it used to, but I love to use it still. So every now and then I'll pull it out and use it because I love these crazy tones in here that go together. This is one of my first palettes that I thought was really fun and unique. <laughs> okay, so next on my list was Androgyny, and same as well. I don't think this thing is performing as well as it used to. Um, while he still has Androgyny on his website, I might get this again. I really love the grungy color story, but this one is still working pretty good, but not as good as it should have. I love it. This is one of my favorite grungy palettes that Jeffrey came out with. It is pretty love, love, love the huge pans. If he does come up with another one of these large pans like he did with the new Beauty Killer, I hope he comes out with a new formula in them in this size. So, because I, I like these palettes, he just made Beauty Killer 2 a little thicker than he originally had. But I like this concept, and I like that he was trying to bring back something different other than like blood sugar celebration you know um anyway next on my list is conspiracy i loved conspiracy when it came out i used the crap out of this everyone hated the color story i loved it especially this dark row here i thought these whole rows would need awesome eye looks and that was one of my favorite palettes, as you can see. Really? <laughs> Keeps knocking them over. <sighs> but anyway, yeah. This was one of my favorites. And still is very well loved. Um, I'm hoping that the new series is a new collection. Um, but we shall see soon. And Rain Man knocked over... <laughs> What I was trying to grab for next is Mini Breaker. Now for purples, I love to gravitate towards this palette because it's one of the best. Um, it's also one of my favorite Halloween-y looking palettes because it's got the orange and the purples and everything in here. So I like doing Halloween looks with it and that shade Oral. Still waiting on you, Jeffrey, to make that a single shade. I love it. Love it. So pretty. As you can see, I've dug into this one quite often. Love it. Good little fall palette. Alright, so next on my list is the O palette. 
This palette is a all matte palette. Everyone wanted Jeffrey to do a neutral palette and he surely delivered. Um, now I'm not as a makeup artist, I can't really appreciate these white starky shades, but they do make good blending shades. Um, but I do love the neutrals in here. And if I want to do an all matte eye look, I have usually reached for this. It is a really good quality, it performs excellently, and I absolutely love it. So, O palette. And then we have Miss Cremated. I love Miss Cremated. This was an underrated palette, in my opinion. Um, I used the living crud out of this. I just wish he had thrown some reds in it. That would have made it the ultimate gothy palette. Uh, but I love this palette. As you can see, I've used a lot of pans have their imprints kind of going away. <laughs> but like I said, I try to keep my imprints going on here. But this bad boy... I loved him. I still love him. And the matte black in here, my favorite. So, I know he's made single shades of some of the cremated shades. So, I love these. Definitely a good one. Next one on my list is Miss Pricked. I love, this is my favorite design. I love the little purse. This is so cute. And this is like the ultimate, the ultimate pumpkin spice lover dream. This is a cute palette. I actually use this a lot more than I thought. Um, but I do like how dark it goes, how, how depth is put into this. I love, love the colors, the golds and the purples, or the golds and the oranges. It's so fucking. But my favorite part of this one is the cute little purse packaging. That was a cute touch. Not sure why he didn't make this part of the blood collection like he did with Pink Religion. Not sure if he's going to make another blood collection. I don't know. But this and Pink Religion should be a part of the blood collection. Anyway, my opinion. Oh, anyway. Next up is an oldie but a goodie, Miss Jawbreaker. This is what got me into my love of colors. Love it so much. So pretty. Oh god, it's just the rainbow lover's dream. This whole quad still is my favorite. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> okay. And then we have Miss Banana Fetish. This is a newer palette. And I have not gotten much use out of this, but I do love, there are two duo chromes in here that make up for the non-yellow aspect of it. Um, they only gave, he only gave us a couple yellow shades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is actually more of a yellowy color and this one is a yellowy color if you put them on your eyes but then they all start to kind of look more neutrally but i love the random pops of blue random pops of pink it wouldn't be a jeffrey palette if we did not have a random bright ass pink right just saying but i love 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 this one. I love those duo chrome formulas. Weird but cool. Very pretty. And this also is a newer palette. The Star Wedding. This is his latest palette actually. Um, this one is an awesome. This is beautiful. It's so heavy. I love this. And it is a combination of cremated, blood sugar, and well, cremated blood sugar, yeah. Cremated blood sugar and orgy. Cremated blood sugar and orgy. So I think this has quickly become my go-to when I want neutral palette. 
and it just has that random pink in the middle so this has become my new buddy when I want a quick easy smoky look or a neutral look or a pink look reddish pinkish look and it is a really beautiful palette so that is star wedding and like i said it wouldn't be a jeffrey palette if it did not have that random bright ass pink in it so yes i was excited for that and of course miss blood money is still up in my line um we came out with this a couple years now and this is my favorite green palette and i love it so freaking pretty the greens in here i can't it's just too gorgeous for me mm. this whole collection was one of the best collections all total together i think in everything jeffrey's ever made that i just love okay, I'm pulling these closer to me next is blue blood you all know if you've been watching me for much time now that my favorite color is blue um, blue is usually a finicky color to work with this palette is a little bit finicky but once you get going at it it's so beautiful i love this shade ocean ice not sure what the heck he did to it but uh, chef's kiss <laughs> and yeah everything in here blue wise beautiful love love and of course i wish he would bring out these singles already because these are getting to a point where they're starting to get old now even though i got this in a mystery box a couple years ago this is one of my favorite jeffrey palettes and i want them back to be polite um yeah so jeffrey if you ever watch this video please hurry up with this bring it back in singles i need my my favorite colors back i oh, love the purple i love these greens this this color story is everything because it's so different it's just something that you don't see a lot and I think um, there was one palette by Makeup Revolution on the Bratz collection that reminded me a little bit of it, but the quality of it was just horrible, as is Makeup Revolution, in my opinion, allegedly. <laughs> um, the next up on my palette is Star Ranch. Love the blues in here. Love the neutrals and the gold and green. So pretty basic and pretty love it and still my all-time weird favorite palette is weirdo it's just a basic bitch freaking goth palette i love this thing i wore this to the godsmack concert when we went this summer and oh my god everyone asked me what was on my eyes love love Love, love, love. <laughs> okay, so that is my ranking all of Jeffrey's palettes as of this time now of the date. So I will see you guys in the next time I rank palettes probably. <laughs> um, anyway, I hope you enjoy that. Have a good day. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.